one of the most talented singer-songwriters ever. Do you know Dan Fogelberg? Let's get most smartest. In 1974, Dan released Souvenirs, his second album, which on-again, off-again member of the Eagles produced it. Don Henley, Joe Walsh, Glenn Fry, or Randy Meisner. It was Joe Walsh. His first hit, Part of the Plan, came from this album. How old was Dan when he joined his first band? 21, 26, 13, or 17? He was 13. They mainly played Beatles covers at school events. What should you do right now? Subscribe, like, share, or comment on my video. You should do all of these things right now. Go ahead, I'll wait. What was Dan's middle name? Gambler, Grayling, Irving, or Peter? It was Grayling. He was born August 13, 1951 in Peoria, Illinois. What did Dan call the first real piano song that I ever wrote? Netherlands, The Reach, Windows and Walls, or To the Morning? It was To the Morning. The song was heavily influenced by Joni Mitchell. Leader of the Band was released on 1981's The Innocent Age, but what album was it written for? Captured Angel, Wild Places, Netherlands, or Phoenix? Phoenix from 1979, Dan thought it was too sentimental for The Innocent Age. In 1971, Dan was an opening act for this hugely popular performer, Elton John, Van Morrison, Tom Jones, or Leon Russell. It was Van Morrison. Dan has said, strange show, but somehow it worked. Dan and Don Henley of the Eagles decided that joining the group would not be the best decision for Dan. Who got the job? Don Felder, Timothy B. Schmidt, Joe Walsh, or Richard Ferre? It was Joe Walsh. This was right before the Eagles put out the On the Border album. Dan had formal training on only one instrument and it was when he was a child. He hated the lessons. What instrument was it? The guitar, the bass, the piano, or the mandolin? It was the piano. Dan could play all four, but he was self-taught. In 1980, Dan hit the top 10 with Longer. How high did Longer get? Number one, number two, number five, or number 10? Longer made it to number two. His follow-up hit was Heart Hotels. Dan often stated that he rarely listened to popular music, especially if it had lyrics. What did he listen to? Mozart? Beethoven, Randy Newman, or Tim Weisberg. He liked Mozart. Dan preferred listening to classical, jazz, and Celtic. The box set Portrait encompasses Dan's career with four discs named Hits, Ballads, Travels, and Tales, and What? Single Shows, Just Me, Bluegrass, or Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll, Portrait was released in 1997. Hugely famous record executive Clive Davis signed Dan to Columbia Records in 1971. What two singer-songwriters had Davis just signed? Gordon Lightfoot, Paul Simon, Billy Joel, or Kevin Cronin? Paul Simon and Billy Joel. Clive Davis was a big supporter of singer-songwriters. 
Dan loved cooking. According to his wife, Jean, after she bought him software to keep track of his recipes, what did he call the collection? There's a spice in the world, recipes from the reach, heart hotels and happy food, or DF's gourmet extravaganza. DF's gourmet extravaganza. Apparently Dan loved to create his own recipes. The melody from Same Old Lang Syne was inspired by what classical piece? Beethoven's Fifth, Mozart's Requiem, Paganini's theme, or the 1812 Overture? Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture. The song is a true story and took over a year to write. Which is the only one of Dan's live albums to chart on Billboard? Greetings from the West, live at Carnegie Hall. Old, New, Borrowed and Blues, or The Innocent Age and Beyond? Live at Carnegie Hall, the album made it to number 71 in 2017. Which is the only Dan album where he played all of the instruments? Full Circle, Souvenirs, Exiles, or Love in Time? It was full circle. He credited four fake musicians as an inside joke to himself. The former Abington Street in Dan's hometown of Peoria, Illinois is now called what? Dan's Place, Fogelberg Parkway, Dan F's Fairway, or Lonely in Love Lane? It is Fogelberg Parkway. The parkway ends at the store where Dan ran into his high school girlfriend. How long did it take Dan to write Run for the Roses? Two hours, two months, two days, or two weeks? Two days. The song was written for ABC Sports and the Kentucky Derby. Netherlands is a play on words of Nederland, Colorado. Why Nederland? Dan lived in Nederland. His mom was from there, location of his recording studio was there, or it just fit the song well. It was the location of his recording studio. He had just moved to Colorado. There is one album that Dan would have liked to take back. Which album? Captured Angel, Exiles, Windows and Walls, and Home Free. It was Captured Angel. He didn't even like listening to this album and probably would hate that I liked it. In Leader of the Band, Dan states, thank you for the freedom when it came my time to go. What does this reference? His first tour, giving up piano lessons, dropping out of college, or moving to Colorado. Dropping out of college, his dad had given him a year to pursue music, the rest is history. Times like these appeared on what movie soundtrack in 1980? Urban Cowboy, Saturday Night Fever, Flashdance, or Electric Boogaloo? Urban Cowboy, this romantic country-ish movie starred John Travolta and Deborah Winger. Which of his songs did Dan say was written as a joke on early James Taylor songs? Old Tennessee, the Reach, Full Circle, or To the Morning. Old Tennessee. He thought that anyone could write that kind of song, so he did. Same old Lang Syne, hard to say, leader of the band and Run for the Roses all came from which album? Windows and Walls, The Innocent Age, River of Souls, or Netherlands? The Innocent Age. This album was his commercial and critical peak. During the recording of this song, Dan and his producer Norb Putnam got drunk on Dom Perignon. Netherlands, Go Down Easy, Seeing You Again, or To The Morning. Netherlands. The night did not go well, apparently. Dan lost his battle with prostate cancer on December 16, 2007, 
at his home in Deer Isle, Maine. He was just 56 years old. There is no doubt in my mind or heart that everything I've done is exactly what I intended to do. Make sure you check out some other trivia that I have for you. In fact, there's some right in front of you. Thank you.